Hello, I'm Jonathan Dunsky, author of the Adam Lapid series, and today I'd like to tell you about a collection of short stories that I read a few years ago and reread recently, Defender of the Innocent, the casebook of Martin Ehrengraf that was written by Lawrence Block. If you're a reader of mysteries, you may already be familiar with Lawrence Block and his work. He's an acclaimed mystery author and the creator of several well-known and beloved characters such as Matthew Scudder, the private detective, Bernie Rodenbar, the gentleman robber, and Keller, the hitman. Martin Ehrengraf is one of his lesser known creations who only appeared in 12 short stories that are collected in this book. The stories were first published in various uh, mystery magazines and I believe that one of them was written specifically for this collection. Martin Ehrengraf is a defense lawyer who runs his practice in a unique way, both in how he charges his fees and in how he goes about securing his uh, client's release and exoneration. Ehrengraf works on a contingency basis, which means that if his client is found guilty, Ehrengraf is entitled to no compensation whatsoever, not even covering his expenses. But if his client is exonerated, Ehrengraf will be entitled to uh, a hefty fee. And as Ehrengraf explains to his clients shortly before they retain him, it doesn't matter how uh, this exoneration will take place. It doesn't matter if the case is thrown out 10 minutes after they retain Ehrengraf as their counsel. It doesn't matter if Afterward, it seems that uh, Aaron Graf basically did no work on their behalf to secure their release. Aaron Graf will still be entitled to his payment in full. And this is something that his clients often have trouble uh, accepting once they are indeed released. Uh, but this is how Aaron Graf runs his practice. Aaron Graf also uh, takes the uh, idea or the uh, noble notion of a vigorous defense to a whole new level. Ehrengraf uh, has a personal presumption of innocence, which basically states that his client is always innocent. It doesn't matter uh, what the evidence against them says. It doesn't matter if, they, if the murder weapon was found in their apartment with blood on it and their fingerprints on it. Uh, it doesn't matter if someone saw them buying dynamite a few hours before the, the car of their spouse blew up with their spouse in it. It doesn't matter what anyone says. It doesn't even matter if the client himself admits to Aaron Graf that he committed the murder. Aaron Graf still believes that they are innocent because any client of Martin Aaron Graf is innocent just by being his client. And Aaron Graf uh, so believes in the innocence of his clients that he uh, is willing to do whatever it takes to get them released. And he prefers to do it without resorting to the sordidness of a trial. He does not like to employ uh, courtroom wizardry or any cunning cross-examination tricks. He wants his clients exonerated without going through the trouble of a, of a trial and also to get them exonerated in a way in which there is no doubt as to their innocence. And he does this by working behind the scenes in a, in a criminal fashion he may plant evidence that will point the finger at someone else. He may commit murder in the same M.O. Once, uh, while his client is in, is in prison, thus proving that the real killer is out there somewhere. He will do whatever it takes to prove to the world that his client is indeed innocent. This all sounds pretty depraved and immoral, and it is, but you never find yourself... Uh, hating Aaron Graf because the way that the stories are written, you never take them too seriously. These are cozy uh, mystery stories. They're not supposed to be entirely realistic. You're just supposed to have fun while reading them, and they are a lot of fun indeed. They are written in a humorous way, very with a very light touch. Aaron Graf is described as this uh, dapper little lawyer who's always dressed to the nines, who is a lover of poetry and the finer things in life, and who is also willing to do whatever it takes to get his clients uh, released. And he has this weird moral code, which 
basically states that because he believes that his clients are innocent, because they are innocent in his eyes, he, he, he will do whatever it takes to get someone else to take the blame and he will actually believe that this is, this is right and proper. Um, so if you're in the mood for something light and humorous and terrifically written, uh, I recommend checking this, this collection out and you can find links in the description below. And if you're unfamiliar with uh, the books of Lawrence Block in general, just uh, you know, pick something out and, and, and read it. I recommend the Matthew Scudder series as my personal favorite. Uh, Block is a terrific writer. And if you're a lover of crime fiction, check him out.